This episode is brought to you by the Moomoo Investing app. Use the link pinned to the top comment to get up to 10 free stocks with five free stocks guaranteed, especially if you are a new investor. Start your journey today. Use the link pinned to the top comment. We got to talk about Coinbase. I'm talking about the cryptocurrency platform, one of the most trusted ones on the market. Some shady things is happening to it right now that I want you to be up to date on. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. I'm here to give you the facts so you can be the judge, baby. I hope you're having a good Friday. I want to take this time to remind you, hit the subscribe button if you have not done so. Hit the like button if you want to show some love. Now, let's get it. Check this out. Coinbase, according to CNBC, they just recently said a former Coinbase manager and two others are charged in crypto insider trading scheme. This does not mean that anybody is guilty. We do not have all of the facts on it yet, but I want you to be up to date on literally everything going on with the companies you trade and the companies you invest in. This is why so many people have subscribed to the channel. I'm bringing the facts to you. I got you on that. Now, let's get to some of the details. It said that there are three people that were charged in the first ever crypto insider trading tipping scheme. And it says that it had to do with a wire fraud conspiracy. Now, this is being flipped by Coinbase in a way that surprised me a little bit, their legal team. But let's check it out. They said this, the trio had allegedly made off with $1 million in illicit profits based on sensitive and confidential corporate information. And two of them have already been arrested from Coinbase, right? And one, while he was attempting to leave the country. Now, again, this does not mean people are guilty, but it just looked funny when you hold up to the light, right? So, check this out. This is how Coinbase basically tried to come back on it. And tell me your opinion on this, family. Here we go. It says this. Coinbase blasts the SEC, right? The Security Exchange Commission. Remember their name, Security Exchange Commission. That's going to be important. Coinbase blasts the SEC over inside the trading case and says that none of the tokens... It lists our security. So the SEC, the Security Exchange Commission, they're supposed to regulate and police securities, but Coinbase, their defense is, they don't host securities on their platform, meaning securities are like stocks or things like that. They're saying, no, 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 these aren't securities. So then this doesn't count. This is according to them. Now, let's check this out. Coinbase, all the way down here, we got some of the details. It says that Coinbase's chief legal officer Paul Gruwal, if I'm saying it incorrectly, it is what it is, no disrespect, denied the claims and says that Coinbase, again, does not list securities. End of story. This is a quote from him. I find this to be rather interesting to see because it wasn't like Coinbase's legal team came out and said, no, this didn't happen. They didn't do any insider trading. They didn't say that. We're not saying they did it. You tell me if you think they did it or not. Family, they tried to leave the country and <laughs> the legal team saying, no, no, no. <laughs> Yo, I, I can't. I'm reading this as we speak and I'm a little shocked as to how they're going about it. I'm going to tell you exactly why. But the legal team, they come out and they don't say, Yo, we didn't do it. We didn't do any insider trading. We would never do that. Why would we try to trade the stocks or not even stocks, the cryptocurrencies on our platform? before the people who are on our app why would they why would we do that why would we do that we would never do that we know bitcoin is going up we can see all of the orders coming in information that people don't have we know certain cryptocurrencies are getting listed to our platform and people are going to buy it but we knew before they did so then we buy it first and then it runs up no 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 they're not saying they didn't do that they're saying that no these are just tokens they're not securities. Nothing we have are securities. This is like this, right? Imagine, let's go on an analogy. Follow me on this, family. Now, I'm pulling this one out of thin air. I'm gonna try to go with you as we go. Imagine that you got your significant other, right? For whatever reason, y'all are not in the same area. They drive down the street, and then they see you walking down the street, holding hands with somebody else. They think it's you, but they're not sure. Y'all get home, they confront you, and they say, I seen you, I seen you with that tall girl. I seen you with that tall man. And then you say, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. I wasn't with, I wasn't with no tall man. Because you saying, no, no, no. They were medium height to you. So you technically weren't with a tall man. So no, I wasn't with no tall man. So you never really denying that you were with a man, that you were with a woman. You denying 
that exactly how you are describing this, exactly how you are accusing me of this, is wrong. That's the issue here. Now, <laughs> family, Coinbase is hilarious for that. And <laughs> I gotta give him a major salute for being super toxic. And let's see what's going on with their stock for that. Now, again, I'm just playing about the toxic, the toxicity, but in the real world, the way that the law works, it's not what's right or wrong. It's what you can prove in court. You could be absolutely right with a certain claim. You could be you could say, yo, yeah, this is how it happened, this and that. No. That might be the truth. But what you can prove in court is how it's gonna roll out. So it's just the way that the society is working nowadays, family. But hey, you be the judge how you feel about that. I already know how I feel. Now, with this being said, Coinbase has dropped almost five percent in a single day down 4.28 to be exact however it's still up 25 percent on a week and it's down 69 percent on the entire year one of the hedge fund not even hedge funds private fund managers kathy wood she's been buying millions if not tens of millions of dollars of this month after month after month just catching a falling knife i don't want you to catch a falling knife i want you to take your time why because coinbase is actually a great company especially when bitcoin and everything like that is in a bull market but we want to see them hold through this crypto bear market again because to be honest with you family if coinbase can keep earning similarly to what they've been earning then this company is at a great value close to these price levels now what do i mean by that let's look at the pe ratio which i always want you to see when you consider buying into a new company that you want to go in somewhat heavy in i want you to look at the pe ratio right now theirs is about a 6.5 which means imagine that you have to give Coinbase at their current earnings rate, their current rate that they're pulling in revenue, you gotta give them $6.50 for them to bring in $1. Now, that's a great deal if they could keep earning at the same rate. They have earnings coming up on eight, nine, right? So their earnings are not too far out, right? So basically next month, their earnings are coming out. We wanna see if the PE ratio stays under, let's call it 20, because then that still would be a pretty solid value. We would love to see it even under 10. When you look at the Fortune 500 companies, it's like 15 to 25, like in that range of the PE ratio. So if Coinbase could keep earning the same amount of revenue or even close, then their PE ratio is gonna stay very, very low. And again, we like to see it, but we also want to see the company even make more money than they made. I want you to take a look at these levels, and then we're going to talk about the price targets. First level, 40. This has been the floor. If we break under 40, family, I'm not touching it at all. I will let this thing just drop all the way to $10, perhaps, right? But that would be in a crazy scenario, but anything can happen in the market. Just know, especially dealing with something as volatile as cryptocurrency. Now, we got a support level of 60. However, for my options players, we have a breakout layer of about 78. My people in the Discord, I know you've been looking at the levels. We've been talking about Tesla for a few days. We've been seeing these crazy breakout levels where once we break these levels of resistance on the three month chart, about 78, if we break past that family, you know what time it is. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell, but I'm looking to trade options and get some calls. That's what I'm personally doing. Now, let's look at the price targets on this family. We got a crazy high price target of 280 or no 290 to be exact however we've seen coinbase basically in the 360 dollar range we've seen it way high up higher than the price target but i don't say that it's going there next year if bitcoin can really turn around start to hit that 100k level like i'm talking about running up for real then we could see coinbase actually pump up back to those levels that it was potentially now we have a more reasonable price target in the middle or in the middle and you know we keep it real we keep it raw of 12, $112.78 to be exact, and a low price target of 42. So again, it does have the potential, technically, since it's dealing with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies to hit all of these levels and just oscillate in between them. Now, I'll keep you up to date, subscribe to the channel, but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, just stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. And again, if you get caught out, <laughs> don't get caught out, right? Be honest, Be do, do honest things. But if you get caught out and then someone tells you, hey, what were you doing with that lady, with that tall lady, but you was with a medium height lady or a short lady? <laughs> and you say, I wasn't with no tall lady. What are you talking about? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> where my notepad at? You know, I'm going to let y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good Friday. Take care.